Almost two years have passed since the first COVID-19 case was reported in South Korea, but our life still hasn't returned to normal. And just like last year, the prolonged pandemic will affect the upcoming Chuseok holiday, one of the country's biggest traditional holidays equivalent of Thanksgiving. This year's Chuseok runs from September 20th to 22nd and is extended by an extra two days due to a preceding weekend. Traditionally, Koreans head back to their hometowns to meet their family members and visit their ancestors' graves to commemorate them. However, health authorities are advising against hometown visits and family gatherings during the holiday amid the widespread of COVID-19 fears. In fact, nearly 8 out of 10 South Koreans said they have no plans to visit their hometowns or travel during the holiday, according to a poll. To discourage people from traveling, public transport discounts will be eliminated and expressway toll fees will not be waived. Seats on train rides will be limited to window seats only, similar to last year. In addition, 11 national cemeteries across the country will be closed during the holiday, according to the Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs. Instead, local governments are asking citizens to use online ancestor worship services to pay tribute to their ancestors and communicate with their relatives online. However, non-contact visits to nursing home and long-term care facilities for the elderly will partially resume for two weeks to allow reunions between patients and family members. Face-to-face -face meetings can also be allowed as long as both the patient and family member are fully vaccinated. According to the social distancing measures for Chuseok, up to eight people are allowed to gather only if at least four are fully vaccinated. Temporary COVID-19 testing centers will be set up at major bus stops or train stations to promote public health measures and vigilance against the virus. Hope you all have a happy and safe Chuseok.